<clears throat> it's Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the stream once again. Quick uh, check before we begin if we are live, if the sound is okay. Let me just quickly. Oh! monetization is already there so fan fantastic just make sure that everything is fine just make sure that everything is fine yep we have it goody 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 94 percent battery capacity the yeti is connected and we are ready to go let's just adjust the uh camera a little bit Good, 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 good. So let's have a look who is here. Oh, by the way, a comment for the common god, like for the like throne. Uh, if you please, helps the channel out a lot. So uh, here we go for the shout outs. Hello, Shane Patrick, brother, Dr. Calcul. Hope I got your name right this time. Joseph Innes, good evening. Good sir to you too. And who ever will join i will just catch up with those peeps in the chat what is up with y'all guys today we are i mean tonight we are doing as promised a gas lands here we have a quick start rules i just um, uh, did all the uh the most important pages of the rule book uh explaining uh, timings, movement steps, uh, and all sorts of goodness. Uh, I'm going to make a video on uh, some builds and cheeses today. I uh, came up, I mean, that was last night, came up with a build, posted on the forums, and Mike Hutchinson himself, the creator of Gaslands, not only liked the post but commented on it that he absolutely loved what i've come up with uh, and of course he continued on with the limitations of the build but other than that he said that it was exceptionally good so let us begin with a, a little something so uh bear with me guys for a moment uh, the uh, obligatory e-begging and shilling. Oh my God, what's going on? What is going on? Okay, here we go. So first of all, gamemed.eu, just go to gamemed.eu. There are a very, very good, good friends of the channel. Uh, they sell gaming mats, battle mats of all sizes, uh, very, very good pre-painted resin terrain. They were nice enough to send me the Fallout Zone set free of charge sponsoring the channel. So if you would like to have yourselves a, a very merry little set of terrain, just go to gamemat.eu and uh, type in the discount code EVENT10 and you will get 10% off. Uh, hope that discount code still is up. The other sponsor of the channel is our good friends over uh, in Poland. Kromlek.eu with their uh, online shop bitsofwar.com. They, especially nowadays when Games Workshop is the dick of dicks when it comes to uh, miniature production, and uh, all sorts of uh, killing the fandom, I strongly suggest you guys look at third-party miniature companies such as bitsofwar.com, which is the property of cromlech.eu. They, their latest release is a, a Blood Angels line called Seraphim Knights because they don't want to be, um, how would you say, be sock puppets of GW and their army of lawyers, so they need to change up a tad bit. As you can see, very, very many options with very cool heads 
These are quality resin bits. I strongly recommend you go and check them out. Uh, they also have Imperial Guard, Orcs, uh, Chaos Marines, and Space Marines, and of course Dwarves, uh, Squats, all sorts and manner of bases as well. If you use my personal discount code Kill Team Hungry, you will get 5% off of your next online purchase. Be mindful, I have no financial uh, gain uh, from this. Uh, they send me stuff now and then, for example, this uh, wonderful laser cut uh, wooden terrain sets. I have three and a half kilograms of these, all shapes. They are Necron themed. They just send it to me because, you know, we are in a kind of symbiotic relationship. So I do not get any kind of commission. Go check them out and uh, don't forget to hashtag boycott GW. Moving on, if you would like to uh, financially support the channel, Kill Team Hungary on Patreon is the place to be. I am going to update these uh, tiers and whatnot. As you can see, for only $1 a month, you can all, uh, already join the fun, get ad-free content minus the shorts um, and the community posts, uh, plus the lives because they are a pain in the ass to download and re-upload as well. But you will be uh, taking part uh, on giveaways as well, because we have Patreon-only giveaways and uh, all sorts of early access as well. So if you can spare a buck, go to patreon.com forward slash kill team hungry. And... Um, yeah, if Patreon is not your thing, I'm also on buymeacoffee.com forward slash killteamhungry because I love myself some coffee uh, despite having high blood pressure. But uh, yeah, whatever, you got to die in something, right? So uh, yeah, just drop me a mug of coffee and uh, yeah, I will thank you very, very much. All right, with that out of the way, let's get cooking. We will zoom out. Welcome, Nathan X2000. Glad to have you. I uh, specifically made sure that it's the right time for you to join. Let's have a quick look at the chat. This has been another wonderful day in my general existence. I got to talk a lot and kill a lot of people in a video game. Oh, Jesus. Whew. I mean, I know you're Swedish and depressed, but uh, yeah. Now the six months darkness is starting, right? Uh, now I was a side KTH or Cromlech. <laughs> Why not both? Very, very nice. All right, friends. Um, Barry Zion, I'm going to have to disappear and hunt for a charger. Just go and do that, my friend. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the game. Which is, oh my God, did I close it? Did I close it? No, I didn't. It's Gaslands, the perfect alternative to 40K. If you want a low budget and very, very nice, exciting, and most of all, fun game. Uh, all you need for Gaslands is to buy one to 64 scale Hot Wheels cars, Matchbox cars, anything which is one to 50, what, sorry, one to 64 scale. And uh, I will show you the rest because it's very, very easy to get into the game. The game was first released in 2017 by a ingenious man named Mike Hutchinson. He is the owner of the Facebook group Gaslands, a game of post-apocalyptic vehicular mayhem. He is the group admin and the dev of the game. Uh, the game was re-released in 2019 called Gaslands Refueled, and uh, it is up for buying up to this day. If you want to support Mike Hutchinson and his uh, well endeavor, I would strongly suggest you go and buy the hardcover book. It is basically 14 pounds. Also, 
Um, I have the rules printed out uh, as a PDF. So uh, I am also planning to uh, support him because I got the Martian Racing Federation version of the game, which is basically hover cars. Uh, I'm building a hover car right now. I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. And that came out in a uh, magazine called Blaster. And that was an additional expansion of the game. The game is FAQ'd regularly. Uh, not much FAQ is needed. That shows how well this game is designed. So, uh, yeah, tactics, sponsors, and all sorts of builds. I'm going to make a video uh, just to show you a little bit about how Gaslands work. And uh, all the movement templates and everything are in the book. You can just cut it out or uh, like exacto knife, laminate it, and uh, there you go. You don't need any additional things to buy. But of course, if you got uh, the urge and uh, money is burning your wallet, then you can order from various uh, third party sources. Uh, very fine laser cut wooden templates because I like to roll in style although I don't get uh, the special skid dice I'm just using d6 because those are expensive and scarce other companies are very much in uh, relationship with Gaslands and uh, you can order for a mere, I don't even know, maybe 10 pounds, something, something, I don't even know, uh, a double upgrade sprue, which gives you a shit ton of extra bits and weapons and two motorcycles, just like these. I will give you a better picture once uh, the camera is not focusing on the screen. Fuck me, this focus is killing my eye. Okay, so yeah, two of these motorcycles and literally like 100 bits or maybe around 50 uh, such as rams and all sorts of nice things you can just slap onto your uh, things all right that's about it 12 minutes into the uh, stream let's get into today's topic but before we do that let's have a look at the chat the newcomers and everybody else yes gaslands is four years old so here's my hover car here's the motorbike Let me just get this straightened out here we go this was given to my uh, given to me by my wife this is a hot wheels track star car T took it apart slapped on some big wheels as hover uh fans or hover jets uh put wings on it from another hot wheels car and i'm going to this is this comes apart fairly easily so I already, I already uh, hand dremeled the pegs. I love cars which have plastic tops because you, you don't suffer with dremeling. And I'm gonna base coat this, paint the cockpit and probably gonna just varnish the rest because the color I like very much. So yeah, uh, hover cars are going to be a different topic and uh, today we are just going to talk about how you guys can get into Gaslands in a couple of very, very easy uh, steps. I also have a Discord. I'm going to post a link into the video description uh, because I'm not uh, with my, my other laptop right now. I cannot post the link right now. Uh, but uh, the rules will be available there, but I strongly suggest you guys go and buy, I mean, 14 pounds, 14 pounds, go and support Mike Hutchinson. He's a swell, swell guy. And he is actively communicating with the community on, on Facebook. So uh, I promise you guys to get into Gaslands, how to get into Gaslands in a couple of easy steps. So, um, how much does a Gasland car cost? Because you can go extremely crazy and uh, you can like build stuff like this. This is a Michigan sponsored uh, performance car. 
a stock Camaro. I think it's, uh, let me just see the type. I think it's a uh, 2010 stock Camaro. And uh, I have stripped the paint, repainted it, uh, put Tau bits in it. Some uh, bits from the upgrade sprue, which is, I think it's from the North Star company and uh, repainted it. And I just had uh, a uh, person from the Hungarian uh, miniature group tr uh, 3D print some 60 millimeters times 30 millimeters base because that's the official uh, base size because yes, cars in this game have bases if you would like. I mean, this game is good because it's very flexible. So you can either uh, have like movement templates, for example, where's a good movement template? Uh, for example, the a medium straight, you can either put the movement template at the first point where the uh, car touches it, or you can have like a base like this motorbike has and just slide the movement template there. And then you have a point of reference and, and how to move the vehicle and, you know, consistency. But the cars do not have to have bases. Basically, that's it. So um, you can have all sorts of tricked out cars, for example. Uh, if you have time, money, bits, uh, whatever, you can just go absolutely crazy and do whatever uh, to your cars. For example, I did this car in a stream. This is a heavy truck with a 360 uh, turret on its, uh, on its top, some, uh, some maybe Adeptus Mechanicus bits, uh, and mostly the upgrade parts from the North Star Gaslands upgrade sprue, which is dirt cheap, by the way, and you get a ton of stuff. Uh, the missile is a Tau missile, missile, what is it called? Missile launcher or missile pod. It's what you put on the crisis suit. And that's, I believe, a, uh, a dreadnought piece. Let me just get some music going, okay? Let me just get some music going because it was so cool yesterday as well. So how about some Space Marine? Was oh, 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 before we begin, before we begin. Did, 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 did. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Loving what is going on. I hope uh, I had some kind of an impact on this. Fuck them. So uh, let me just go at Space Marine OST because that's a very, a very good OST. It's going to unmute. And let's see what's going on. Ah, yes. Okay, tell me if it's too disturbing. I will just uh, bring it down. Maybe it's too loud. Is it too loud? Okay, so let's catch up in the, with the chat a little bit. Um, oh, yeah, the darkness. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> what are you, Dr. Calcul? Uh, Mooded by it. I haven't seen Hot Wheels until I was a man. Uh, I just finished the next two Warhammer Plus videos with Asmogan Watch Party. Uh, someone sadly purchased it. My buddy said that in Hungary, you cannot get Warhammer TV. So I, I need to pirate it from, from somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm looking on the torrent sites. Uh, if anybody has a link... Then, wink, wink, if you know what I mean. Wait, Gaslands is only four years old? Yes. Uh, Lions, amen. Long time no see, dude. How are you? There is a Hot Wheels tabletop games. Yes, it's called Gaslands Refueled and Martian Racing Federation. I haven't bought uh, Hot Wheels since the 80s. Well, it's about time. There are extremely, extremely well-made models, uh, Shane. For example, the Tesla Cybertruck, courtesy of Nathan X2000. 
There's some great ads on bits, STL files to this game, indeed. Sadly, I don't have a 3D printer. And of course, it's a missile pod. So, um, yeah, as I said, if you have like paint uh, or other type of uh, accessories or bits, you would just want to slap onto the cars. You can do whatever. Uh, for example, this is a, uh, let me just see. This is a 1964 Chevy Impala. And uh, I made it a black Templar car with heavy machine gun on the top. So looks very good, especially if the camera would like to uh, focus. Uh, this is a uh, this is basically bits from I think uh, a uh, Predator tank, and this is the frag uh, cannon ammo ammo belt. And uh, I paid it. The engine block is the original, wheels are original, and of course you see wheels are not spinning because I glued them in. This is a kind of a religious debate among gas lands, gas landers, whether or not you should glue the um, you should glue the wheels or not. Someone says yes, someone say no, someone says just slap it on bases and nobody will get hurt. Uh, I glue them because this signals that it's, this is no longer a toy. And the windows are, of course, substituted with mesh. Uh, no, you're right, Calcul. It's a heavy bolter from the uh, Space Marine uh, bike with the sidecar. Now, now that you mentioned it, yes. <laughs> And of course, you already seen my heavy truck and my my new cheese build, the Russian sponsor, the Mishkin. I think it's Alexei Mishkin or Alexander. Not really sure. Need to look at sponsors. This is basically a car with sat nav, some um, some smoke launchers in the back, and a teleportation device. So I'm going to show you how to just make your opponents eat dust, turn one, and possibly reach gate one in one activation. So when you reach gate one, all your weapons activate and you can get a huge lead on your opposition. So this is that. And of course, the motorbike from the upgrade sprue. I also have a custom 3D printed Judge Dread, classic Judge Dread motorbike. Uh, he is riding with the Highway Patrol uh, sponsors. Uh, highway Patrol is pretty good if you want to troll people and not really win, because you always have to be uh, behind the, the people you are chasing, because that's when you get bonuses and that's when you cause uh, all sorts of mischief uh, to their cars but these these little bikes what they uh, they add and give you with the upgrade sprue these are absolutely fantastic so this is when you when you go a little bit crazy you have time and you have bits but what if you just you just bought your your car in in your shopping mall and you don't have time you don't have bits and uh, and yeah, what to do? Uh, let me see. Uh, Love Dread. Uh, who do you like better, Urban or Stallone? The two films are incomparable. Uh, the Stallone version is kind of a comedy. I cannot take that movie seriously. The car Urban version, the Judge Dread. Uh, what is? It, what was it? Two thousand twelve, I think. That was fucking awesome. All right, Joseph Innes is back. Found a battery. So welcome back, sir. So let's get into how to uh, get a Gasland ready car in about an hour. Let me just put these aside because I spend like multiple hours customizing this, these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, just that, and show it to you guys. There's a couple of things you need. And uh, first of all. This is the most important thing you will ever need. Uh, this is clear uh, lacquer. Is that is that how you spell it? 
uh, varnish, basically. This is your first and last protective layer, what you're going to spray on your car. So let's take uh, an example vehicle. Here's the Tesla truck. Here's a, uh, let me just quickly see, a 1982 Nissan Skyline uh, R30. This is already Gaslands ready, but almost look, almost looks like, almost looks like the car just torn out of the box. Nothing special really. I just painted some details. We will get to that. And uh, here's my uh, alternatives. The best car for Gaslands is the so-called Erikenstein. Uh, it's basically Gaslands ready. This comes like this out of the box. You don't even have to put any weapons on it. Looks post-apocalyptic post as it is. Of course, you can just deck it out uh, as you like. And the piece I'm going to work on today in this live stream is the Fusion Blaster, which is a very, very nice looking car. You can see it yesterday as well in the stream. This is the car we are going to work on today. So, um, like I said, you, you can just tear open uh, a blister of Hot Wheels. For example, this one as well. This one is called the Hyperfin. And you can just buy a super glue for like a couple of cents and glue the... Jesus Christ, the focus has gone AWOL. Okay. You can just glue the wheels in place and there you go. That's it. You don't even have to uh, varnish the thing. It's gas lens ready. And it only costs you $2. I repeat, $2. Uh, when you think about Warhammer, a box of something costs 30 bucks. For 30 bucks, you get the hardcover rule book, at least two cars, and a maybe a spray paint as well if you if you like that or or something or maybe you can buy some tools for example this hand drill which is pretty awesome because if you want to take the cars apart then this is for my hungarian viewers um you can basically just I, this is metal so i'm not going to drill this with this because it will be a pain in the ass and it will take five thousand years been there done that plus it breaks the, the drill head you drill around the metal peg, you make tiny little consecutive holes, and then you take a scalpel, you then cut the space in between the holes, and basically you did a negative dremeling. And the plastic around it will just, just pop off and there you go. You can file it away because I have a drill. I ruined not one car trying to drill this. And I don't have a hand dremel. Um, if you do, go for it. I just don't. Okay, so what if you like buy the Cybertruck um, and, and, uh, and stuff? Okay, so for base games, you don't need sponsors. You just put it on. You have car profiles, which comes with the book, for example. Focus, God damn it. Okay, for example, uh, this one, this is a performance car. I like my performance cars very much because they are very, very fast. See, they have hold points. They have slip away, which is a special rule. I'm not going to tell you now. And of course, you can just name your car. It's the, the middle weight of the car, the max gear, which is how fast you can go. Uh, handling is uh, four, but you can pump it up. Uh, which means that the number of handling means the number of D6 you are going to throw. And we have D6 based dice called skid dice, which as you can see uh, here on a one, I mean, one is 
One is sucky sucky in every game. Yeah, you get a hazard. Hazard is bad. Uh, if you have six hazards, uh, six or more hazards, you need to do a flip check at uh, your activation, and then you can crash into things and your engine stall. Excuse me, your engine will stall. Uh, number two on the six sided die is a spin, the number three is a slide. Uh, which are various maneuvers uh, uh, you can do at the end of your movement template and four to six basically on a four plus you get a shift we love shift results because you can change gear and remove hazard tokens more on that later so the more handling you have the more dice you uh throw the more chances you get for shifts uh, if you decide to play with sponsors uh, no weapon. I'm I'm into no weapon uh, cars because they are there's like this. This has missile launchers and and everything. Every every car is equipped with a driver or multiple crew members who have handguns. So every car has weapons on them. But uh, but I love movement based teams. For example, the Japanese Miyazaki sponsor uh, the Russian. Uh, ballet junkies, the Maxine, and now I discovered that Mishkin, the Russian sponsor, is also pretty much uh, focused on movement. And of course, the Speed Freaks as well, the Idris sponsor as well. For example, they can equip Nitro boosters on their cars for half the price. Um, this is also a point-based game. Usually we pay 50 can games, which is, this is measured in cans and not points. And uh, that's good for either a single very much pimped out car or two cars, one main racer and one auxiliary racer or some someone who helps your car. Um, yeah, so enough about that. Uh, let's get into today's, uh, today's, uh, what should we call it? Not topic, but okay, let's get to work. So, okay, evolution wise, the, the easiest step by, uh, by a performance car looking, um, car. This is, as I said, is the Hyperfin, very cool car, cheap, $2, ready to go. You just need to glue. The wheels, or if you don't like to glue the wheels, it's fine. Put it on the table. Two dollars, you're in the game. Hey, Dexterello. Um, also, two dollars. The uh, what, what, what's it called? Edikenstein. The Edikenstein Hot Rod series. Uh, also, you don't need to do anything. Just buy it. Put it on the table. Ready to go. The Tesla Cybertruck, I'm going to do this as a Idris uh, truck with the uh, hot start, which means that I can ram people on my first activation. Probably I'm going to attach a uh, nice ram on the front of the Cybertruck, either this or maybe this. Um, looks kind of stupid to be perfectly honest with you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna think of something. The Cybertruck is gonna be very, very fun to build. I absolutely love this. So let's put it onto the side. And of course, when you have a little time and you want to stand out on the table, um, oh yeah, the Cybertruck <laughs> need to have a little bit more muscle. I, I'm gonna drill out the the glass and make it look like it's it's broken. <laughs> so as you can see, I drilled um, around the peg, and this is how I removed uh, this car's bottom from the metal part. So the Nissan Skyline is my Japanese racer, the Miyazaki racer. Uh, I spray painted this with one layer of clear varnish uh, i spray painted the top and of course the bottom as well uh, individually uh, each part individually and uh, i spray painted the windows uh, chaos black very good paint by the way for for gas lines as well this is what i still had fortunately it's empty now 
uh, I glued in the wheels, as you can see, they don't spin, and uh, painted the rims. I think they're called rims. Yeah. And I also painted the headlights and the taillights. I think the taillights didn't even need to fin. Yep, and uh, also some uh, auxiliary stuff here. And at the very end, when I was done, I gave it a second layer. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. No, 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 don't mix it up. I used my, uh, I used my trusty Japanese weathering master kit, which is basically you can get this for ten bucks. Uh, it looks like a, a a ladies' makeup set, but actually this has rust or red sand, uh, gun bolt and steel. So I I took this little tool, I just uh, rubbed it into it and simulated some rust slash red sand on it. If you have anything like uh, this technical paint, which is Martian Iron Crust, you can uh, like go a little bit more crazy and do some mud effects uh, on your car. I went with the subtle uh, red dust on my skyline because I don't want it to look like uh, uh, it just came from a pig stag or some muddy stuff. I like I like my Japanese cars clean. So this is what I did with my my Skyline. I love this car. Very eighties, very uh, synth wave. Uh, gotta love it. And of course, nowadays I'm I'm perfectly much influenced by Redline. That anime is awesome. Alrighty, so let's get into today's car, which is going to be the Fusion Blaster. This one I picked up from Russia. Uh, gotta love this car. This is a very, very nice car. So, as before, this time I had a much easier job because the top of the car is plastic, which means I just took uh, the drill. Of course, I took a bigger head. And I just drilled until the plastic peg head disappeared. And the car just popped open like it's no one's business. This car comes in three, uh, four parts. The base of the car, a uh, window, the top of the car, which is already covered in the acrylic uh, varnish. And a very massive looking cockpit. Uh, and engine block. So we are going to start probably with the engine block and then try to finish the car in this video uh, just to show you a little bit about how I do my my gas lamp cars. Alrighty, so shall we start? Maybe let's start with the base. Start with the base. Let me see. Let's just have a fit uh, test. Okay, all right, let's, let's start with the base. Let's move from the bottom to the top. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the chat. <clears throat> Is the mesh just window screen? Yes, because it's kind of a Mad Max style uh, design chain. And I usually use household kitchen items, uh, cut them apart and then apply it. Rasia, that is correct. Mm -hmm. They never released those Skyline GTRs in the US, bummer. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, they don't release much of the stuff here as well. Where do you learn English so well? You sound like you lived in the Midwest of the US. Well, I uh, grew up watching Cartoon Network <clears throat> when it was still good. <laughs> <clears throat> Can my car be sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if you paint it like that, uh, airbrush it, or I don't know what, maybe they will hook up with you. Uh, but before we get into the Mad Lads, uh, it is time... Uh, what, what, what does he say? How does Dankula say? But before we get into the Mad Lad, it is in fact your boy, uh, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, I wonder if that was the mask. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Shane. Hopefully the in-game truck is more resilient than the IRL one. Yep, that's what I'm hoping for. It has a lot of hole points, so you can slap on some armor plating. That's, again, I think two extra hull points. You can have explosive RAM on it, double RAM, and, and just go crazy and use, and just tank whatever the shit comes, uh, comes uh, uh, opposite to you. Opposite to you, in front of you, against you, whatever. You can have different pipes, mounts with handles, uh, footrests, additional headlights, and so on. You can just go crazy. By the way, the upgrade sprue gives you pilots as well, so drivers, drivers as well. All right, uh, the T8 sound is even weirder. Hmm, spray. Ah, yeah, okay, good. Did they actually use makeup too? I wouldn't uh, know, but when you've been married a long time, it's one of the things. <laughs> <clears throat> the Batmobile, yes, the, 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 the new um, Robert Pattinson Batman mobile I also have uh, in the shelf. It's also going to be just varnished or maybe just one or two machine guns on it from the upgrades because it's a very, very cool looking car. You don't need to do anything with it. <clears throat> the number A46 to Renault, I'm not sure what you're talking about. You're too young to remember Mask. It was in the 80s cartouche. Oh, you mean the Mask? Or something something else? <clears throat> mask. Let me just quickly search it and then we will move on. Uh, mask 80s cartoon. Ooh, the Mask 80s cartoon. Nope, I am totally not aware of this. Looks cool though. Very vintage. Alrighty. <clears throat> Good. And of course, super chats are on. All YouTube revenue is going to go to airplane tickets because my uh, family is in Russia now. And I'm uh, going to be alone for at least three to four months because uh, we need to get our child to Russia uh, for uh, to be with the in-laws because we were struggling alone here because I don't have family here other than my wife and my son. So we needed to have a little bit of help and I don't see them that often now. So every now and then I'm planning to fly out and I'm putting my laptop project on hold. So if you would like to support that effort of me seeing my family uh, as often as I can, then you're very much welcome to drop a chat. And if you do, you will be more than welcome to give a name to one of the Sisters of Silence, uh, which I'm going to finish up, paint and put your name of choice on the back end. Of their base just I have four remaining so <laughs> you need to hurry up one is already gone a um, Swiss viewer of mine uh, just slapped yesterday uh, slapped a name on one of them so uh, yeah after donating some uh, some dodo no enough talk Let's get into the nitty gritty. So we are going to use uh, Vallejo Mecha Color Steel because that's awesome. Let me just get my brush going. And uh, yeah, this is already coated with Chaos Black. And all right, let me just free up this a little bit. Okay, here we go. And we're going to use our quail egg container. All righty. Tomorrow is stream with Asmogan. I'm not sure uh, if I'm invited to that one. Hopefully, I can make it so we can talk about stuff. So these are exhaust pipes, as I see. So let's just put a layer 
of steel on it. Oh man, I had my first 40 minute training in six months. I busted my ass. Oh my God. I feel so tired physically because I am a disgusting fat person and I need to get myself back into shape. Oh, Nathan, Nathan wanted him, himself to be recognized. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't see your question. Uh, Nathan with the... Nathan with the super chat, how much is a plane ticket research purposes? Uh, plane ticket uh, depends, of course, when you buy it, but um, but a plane ticket uh, usually just there costs around uh, 70,000 forints, which is, I think, to 200 250 bucks but 200 plus uh, bucks that's that's 100 percent 200 euros yeah yeah i would say 200 euros yep interesting we have an international family as well it can be tough well yeah unfortunately hungary is not the best place to raise a child uh, many Hungarians would differ, but uh, many Hungarians don't live in mixed uh, nationality families. Uh, we do, and for years I haven't realized how much of a toxic environment I'm living in. So we made uh, the carefully uh, calculated decision to have them go back to the Russian part of the family so that my mother-in-law can help in taking care of uh, Greg Jr. Because we had some tough times. People watching the stream yesterday, uh, they know the story of the hospital nights we, we suffered through. It's absolutely horrific. So yeah. Um, is that the gel base? I utterly abhor gel based metals. They're so gummy and gritty. Uh, what is gel based? No, 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 no. This, this is, this is water based. If you're, if you're talking about this, this is perfect. You can put a solar cam dog in the cockpit behind the wheel. <laughs> Fortunately, the one to 64 scale, uh, upgrades through drivers, not always uh a good size uh to fit in the cockpits open cockpits are much much better but uh, you still have to cut some of the parts off of the drivers to make them actually fit two thin coats no fuck that we don't have time for that plus this is hot wheels this is not something you need to be careful of so if you just mess up, it's fine. Battle damage or, or like clean up afterwards, it's fine. It is absolutely fine. Plus uh, some parts are gonna be just covered by the hood and the upper part of the car. So you don't need to worry at all, which means people who are afraid to paint, you can just start painting cars as well you don't need to be afraid because you make mistakes who cares it's battle damage looks awesome and if not if, if it's egregiously uh sticking out just use some black paint and paint over it and cover up your mistakes it's fine it's fine totally fine so, um, did you, didn't you prime before painting? Of course I did. Only savages and cavemen don't prime their miniatures before painting. Uh, let's see. 
You see, I made some mistakes here. Probably just gonna clean up afterwards. Gonna add some water. Just a tiny bit of water because paint is getting a little thick. And just gonna finish up this side real quick. Still a little black. Here, black parts. And soon I'm going to record my open letter to Games Workshop video. It's going to be a doozy. I've seen this new video they put out, the one which has double amount of dislikes er, than likes. They basically uh, copy pasted half of the video from the original uh, sizzle reel, the announcement video. And I mean, I feel bad for that, uh, that young woman who is going to do the Citadel masterclass. Uh, because I mean, she, she is talented and everything, but I bet uh, she was just like pushed into this this thing because why would I pay to watch her paint when I have people painting for free? I have Duncan. Come on, no matter what you do, you, you will be better than Duncan when Duncan dies. And maybe not even then. <laughs> So I don't get it. I really don't get it. Ah, uh, fucking Warhammer Plus. This is a fucking joke. They they couldn't even come up with uh, original footage. They just reshot the footages. The the uh, uh, some like hi, this is X Y Z, and welcome to. Uh, XYZ WQ uh, segment. So they didn't even shoot new footage for it or just like they they made them wear uh, different colored clothes and they said word for word the same shit. It's pathetic. All right. I found a flight for one so, da, 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 da. Well, yeah, I'm at Budapest, to Saint Petersburg. I'm, I'm traveling to Moscow, friend. That's a little bit uh, further away. Yeah, diluting pain. Totally get it. That's a valid point. Guilty Hungry, excited for Warhammer Plus, like totally the rest of us, lol. <laughs> Box Archives, you've been more fun name if you ask me. Instead, Warhammer Plus, that sounds like a new mobile app game. <laughs> yeah, and, and Warhammer style uh, mobile games are popping up in my, uh, my ads on YouTube, which looks like, look like this, this shitty tower defense stuff. I was like, what the hell is this? Okay, we are painting the side fins as well. So let's get let's get to that. Just a quick silver coat on it. And we will just uh, darken this down with everybody's favorite and overpriced paint. Known oil, which is more expensive than human blood. So let's let's put another a layer on it like this. If you want to, oh shit! You see, I made a mistake. No problem. If you want to be like standing out, you can do OSL on the bottom of the car, and if you have a base on the car. Uh, uh, to the car, you can have OSL and it will look like there are neon lights between, uh, I mean, under the car. That looks awesome. And if you are like got tier uh, in electrical stuff and in electrical engineering, uh, you can fit a, um, a tiny motherboard here and 
drill holes onto the bottom of the car and insert uh, LED lights. So yeah, I, I don't even care about this part because this part is going to be covered by the hood. So moving on to the next one. Sorry, I, I'm not paying attention now to the chat, but I will catch up. So if you have anything important to say, just be like Nathan and drop a super chat. Because my peripheral will pick it up most likely. I mean, 100%. Thank you very much for the support yesterday, Nathan and Asmogan as well. Uh, basically, you helped me get one-sixth of my next airplane ticket to Moscow with your support. And of course, Papaya as well from Switzerland. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome, by the way, as well. You don't need to donate money to be awesome. I'm just saying that with your help, it's going to be easier. Thank you very much. So... Let's see, how are we doing with battery time? 53%, pretty good. Uh, if, if the uh, video gets choppy, just let me know, uh, because then I have to disconnect the Yeti and put the phone on charger, because I'm still streaming on phone. Unfortunately, I don't have the necessary equipment to do quality streaming. Okay. Just need more paint. And as Dexter had a little said, we're just gonna dilute it a tad bit. And we are back in business. Yep, we're just gonna clean up these little things here. Whoops, there goes the wheel as well. You gotta be careful. You don't really need to uh, paint this part because it's not. It's never going to be visible uh, until your car flips in the game, because then you have to turn it upside down according to the rules. So let me just. Quickly, 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 have a look, have a looky-looky. Okay. All right. It sounds good. Moving on to the tail fin. Gonna have it a little bit diluted so that the paint will spread. It's fine. It's mighty fine. Okay, here are the edges. We're gonna, I don't know if we will have time. We'll highlight this with white. Uh, what is this, what is this, what is this? Oh shit, there is a five pound super chat. How do you feel about Angels of Death compared to Hell's Reach? I feel, rich, I feel Richard Boylan hasn't improved at all despite an actual budget. This time, Voin, thank you very, very much, friend, for your super chat. Uh, how do I feel about that? Let's have Joseph Innes' comment. Because Joseph Innes has a potty mouth and YouTube filters out his comments. So how do I feel about that? I loved, and I, and I do mean I loved Richard Boylan and Hell's Reach. Every time I painted, I had Hell's Reach, the, the supercut version, what he did uh, running in the background. Uh, then he disappeared Then he got, uh, because I think this, this was his uh, job pitch to GW, retrospectively, and despite the fact that everybody said, oh, it's rotoscope, it's, uh, it was done with the Xbox 360 and everything, I didn't care because it has such a unique style, the storytelling and everything, I mean, come on, it's based off of a fucking good book. 
And the visuals were also good. <clears throat> so, hold on a second. <coughs> shit. I need to drink something. Oh, shit, there goes the wheel again. No, oh, never mind. Okay, then he disappeared. Then he got picked. Then he did his live action stuff. Is is the stream choppy? Is the stream choppy? It is. You guys see the stream being choppy or is it just me? Can you give uh, can you give me feedback? It's choppy. I see it a bit. Okay. Um, hmm. Let me just uh, try something here a little bit. Yeah, because the router is like uh, thousand miles away. Nothing major. Let me just reconnect this. We are now on um, phone audio. Hold on a second. I have a very good headphone. Let me just connect that to the Bluetooth and, and see what happens. Uh huh. We are having uh, a technical break. Okay, here's the Bluetooth. Okay. All right. Testing the audio. Is the audio Do you guys hear the audio? You hear the audio. Okay. Well, this is a very expensive. This is my company headset, so it better work. God damn it. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm happy. So uh, we have a workaround now. Because I think the the stream is now stable. And we also fixed the audio issue. Where was I? Uh, I love the style of Hell's Reach film. How I expected a part uh, of this budget limitation. Now we're still stuck with uh, black and white. And okay, I have an issue if you're to wear prologues for uh, uh yeah sure uh i'm aware um what i hear the audio then not then again but it's okay it's fine are you sure oh no it sucks okay i mean i'm just keep speaking and if you guys uh experience it it's choppy just tell me and i will go back to the yeti Okay, there's a little delayed on it. So I think the amount of time Richard uh, disappeared to do uh, Angel's death with a team, and I repeat, with a team, with a company that has multi-billion fonts, English pounds worth of income and they produce this after two years this is fucking appalling yeah I, I'm aware that his grandfather died uh, unfortunately uh, he streamed about it when he was in England and, and uh, he was in uh, a obligatory quarantine as well so it it was a double suck for him. But, uh, but yeah. Uh, the time he spent on, on Angels of Death does not show 
it's almost the same quality and i told asmagan uh, as well on his stream the quality is almost the same as hell's reach with a animation oh fuck it i'm just gonna paint this silver as well uh with an animations team and a enormous budget uh behind his back it's a shame it's actually i have no fucking idea what what they're doing there but if the rumors are true he is the head of the animation team because he was the lead lead animator on the uh ill-fated uh mass effect uh andromeda so that is why oh by the way uh voin you get to name a sister of silence uh, figurine so come up with a non-profane name and i will uh, paint it on the base and thank you very much for your super chat again thank you thank you thank you so now we are on the rims of the car pretty easy to paint see i'm just i'm just putting on one layer of paint nothing special and boom stands out immediately just one color nothing fancy nothing fancy at all all right and thank you for being here in the stream much appreciated uh i'm a lonely i'm a lonely person now so I have, I have no family beside me so thank you for keeping me company and i hope you enjoyed the stream my discord army is also here <laughs> nathan and the boys boy So I, I see in my peripheral that the chat is going. So let me just finish up this uh, this rim. These twenty twos, and I will get to your chats immediately. And then we will do a quick cleanup, and then we'll start on the cockpit. So, what's up with the? Where's the silver? Here's the silver. What's up with the chat? So, fun fact about Richard's has died, so blah, blah, blah. yeah, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Uh, if I was, if, uh, if I was there, it was a shame that he was stuck there as well. Yeah, he was stuck for like two weeks. Grandparents die, sad, but that's the way of life. You can tell me about it. I couldn't agree more with the same level of animation. Quality, worst part, models look really good, but feel underused in expression and movement not to mention the voice acting oh my god the voice acting is fucking suckville this actually cool i didn't know that i would have have to get a sweet mad max style adventure on my tabletop yep and i will be doing some tutorials as well so you can actually look at the game mechanics as well shane so stay tuned mood of being alone lol Nathan with the super chat again. Oh my God, friend. Thank you very much. Budapest to Moscow, 191 pounds there and back. Eventually I found it myself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, what, what company is this? Because I am flying with uh, Aeroflot, the Russian uh, commercial flight company. Air France. Ugh. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, nothing. I have nothing against the French, but they're French. I mean, as an Englishman, you can you can confirm this, right? Hope I don't have any French viewers. <laughs> I've been flying Aeroflot uh, every time and I have zero complaints about them. Always very good. Everybody's polite. They shit on vegans and and they are 
they're just good people. Their pilots are very good. Very, very good pilots. Absolutely. When there, I flew back there and back six times. So three times there, three times back. I died zero times. So fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. I think, oh, oh, hold on. Let me just have a quick, uh, all right. Hmm. Do we need extra silver metal parts? What is this? <laughs> okay. Gorgo. I use that for my sister of silence. Uh, name submission wife to the Spartan King of Leonidas. Oh, she was named Gorgo? That's pretty cool. All right, let me just make note of that real quick. Where's my, ah, here it is. Okay. So this one is called Popeye from yesterday's stream and I'll just, just here. Next one will be called Gorgo. Fine. Thank you. It's awesome. Okay, so I think I think we can do the front fin. Well, now that I messed it up, I need to do it. So I think that decided the question. Would well, you do just the front one? And then we will do a cleanup and move on. The music has stopped. Let's have Mad Max Fury Road OST. Do we have a full OST? Oh no. Oh no. All right, uh, NFSU to OST. There we go. Nice. All right, let's have a look at the chats. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, not as not as sexy as you think, but it has a charm to it. Definitely, I agree. I would do the front uh, as a trim, personally. Hmm. Are you naming these uh, from suggestion? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, for super chats, I uh, will uh, give the names out, the naming out to my viewers. Yes. Uh, no, I did a super chat. Yeah. Uh, now that I think of it, a trim would have been better. Well, shit. Next time. <laughs> have you seen the Need for Speed Underground Remastered? Uh, Underground 2 Remastered trailer video? It turned out it's fake, but... Uh, Two Russian dudes did it, and you could not tell. I seriously thought that they're gonna remake uh, uh, Need for Speed Underground 2. It's fucking amazing. You, you guys just go and check it out. Just write uh, Need for Speed Underground Remastered, Underground 2 Remastered. It's amazing. The music, the, the visuals, the sounds of the engines, 
There's a Nissan 3, uh, 350Z from the Underground 2. The BMW, I think M3 from Most Wanted. And the, the, the GTR Skyline from the first game. Awesome. It's awesome. Um, not really bothering much with the with the bottom paint. I'm just you know finishing what I'm starting. Don't want to mess too much with the wheel. We're on the road. Hope I don't get copyright claimed. That would suck ass. Toad. A long holiday. Let your children play. Give this man a ride, sweet family will die. Oh. Man, Jim Morrison, what a fucking shame. Alrighty. I love Need for Speed Underground 2. Loved it. Oh shit, a mosquito! Oh no, now I won't sleep all night. I am definitely not gonna play folk music. I hate folk music. No, thank you. No, 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 no. Not even for a super chat. Fuck that. <sighs> uh, all right. We have Abaddon Black. Right, we will now commence the cleanup. Squirrels were thrown. The dog went out of bone. I turned on the moon. From the storm. And this is how easy to just you know clean up your mistakes. So don't be afraid to paint. Do not be afraid to paint. All is well. We're gonna quickly clean up the inside of the rims. need to be extra careful okay I think this is done uh Truth be told, I hate painting on metal, but I will make an exception because, because of gas lines. Catch up with the chat in a moment because I see some Russian stuff going on. Some Russian reference. Just need to clean up this particular part of the car. I hate having smudges on the wheels, which don't belong there. Uh, okay, inside of the wheel looks pretty good. Spoke too soon. Uh, 
All right, and this is, this is not right here. This needs silver. It's a quick fix. There we go. So let's put another layer on it. Okay, let's quickly have a look at the front wheels. Oh shit. Being sloppy. A little bit. Oh no, this is too diluted. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ready? Let's try again. Oh, okay. Back to a bad in black. See, no more silver. Yeah, looking okay. Uh-huh. The back side as well. Sorry, dudes. I'm just I'm just concentrating. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just need to be acceptable. We're aiming for tabletop quality, so. No golden demon or, or anything else. Uh huh. Well, hey, everything else is going to be taken care of by new oil anyway. And then a quick varnish. I need to buy varnish tomorrow because I've sprayed out the last varnish. Okay. Oh, too diluted. Okay, Let's spin it around. All right, I believe this is somewhat done. So we're just gonna set it aside. Quickly going to go on to the motor block. The motor block, uh, let's see. Stop, stop with the chair. These paints are like five years old. And look, still very good. Okay.
Usually Hot Wheels um, hides some Easter eggs in their in their uh, interiors. Sometimes there's a slice of pizza, sometimes there's a sleeping cat or dog in the interior. Haven't seen anything like it though. Maybe I won't even put back the, the glass, to be honest. Why am I painting the interior anyway? Nobody's gonna see it. <laughs> <laughs> Find the drugs in the front seat. Got that right. Um, hmm. Should I? Hmm. Let me just fit this in. Uh huh. Okay, I'm going to paint this part brass <clears throat> hold on this is bought as our gold this should put oh sorry whoops almost made a grave mistake So bought is our gold. So we're gonna paint the engine parts. Bought is our gold. What is this? Okay, so here we go. Well, it's the it's still start of the race, Shane. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get burnt eventually. Don't worry. Weathering is still something that I need to do. Plus, it will get a glaze and some some technical paint on it. And of course, I will clean up afterwards. Just got to get the base color on it as fast as possible. Oh, too diluted. Then we will clean up with lead belcher because that's the color I spray painted, uh, base coated the engine block. All right.
Okay. Engine block parts are pretty much got their color ready. Time for some cleanup. But before that, right, Voin, gonna get as drunk as I can with limited vodka. Y'all take care. Maybe you can review Warhammer Plus Hungry. <laughs> take care. Thank you very much for your super chat, man. Again, uh, I will definitely try to get some Warhammer Plus and review it, uh, especially the Stardis uh, part. Uh, I'm just try to get it and bring it to you guys. Uh, at least that one. Because I, I owe Siyama that much. So you, you, you take care and be careful, man. Thank you for sticking around. Okay, doing some steel. Get that kind of lighter steel effect on it. It's just a tad bit lighter. Tad, tad bit lighter. Okay. All right. Nothing fancy. Just to have some colors on it. Really nothing fancy. Okay. Uh, um, how, uh, how seating would you be if they used the animation and influence of a Stardust to start pushing female Marines? <laughs> That's never going to happen, man. That that's that that's the moment when GW just uh, like puts the puts the rope over the supporting bead, climbs up the chair, and just kicks the chair uh, out of under himself, out of himself, kicks the chair from under itself, and just fucking hangs himself. And man, I would love to see that happen, but but no no no, it's, it's never gonna happen. Female Space Marines never going to happen. And people need to make peace with this. It's just like that idiot uh, who thinks he's a woman and competed against the women weightlifters on the Olympic, that New Zealand dude. And I don't care. That's a dude. I really don't care. And he was a failed weightlifter and he he just realized that he's a woman just recently so he can so he could compete in a category that he could think he w can win in and he didn't. So that's the same thing. There's no gender bending, no, no, nothing, no. This is an age old debate, not going to happen. Nah, I wouldn't. I mean, they know the fan base. They can, they can, I mean, no, 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 that, that, that's, that's not true. That's not true what I'm saying. 
apparently uh, they look like they have zero idea what the fan base wants. So I would like to retract my statement. Um, I have no idea. Hopefully, hopefully will not, they will not go there. But if they do, it's going to be a fail. It's going to be a hard, hard fail. Uh, is, is Barbie owned by Hasbro? The dolls? Is Barbie Hasbro or, or Mattel? Or are the two the same? I have no idea. Help me out. Guys, help me out. <laughs> Mattel owns Barbie. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. We have a uh, we have a shopping mall here called West End. And I went into the toy shop because, you know, obvious reasons. And uh, I saw the following atrocity. Um, oh shit. Don't I have a, a thinner one, an artificer one? Ah, here we go. So there was a Darth Vader doll. I mean, what appeared to be a Darth Vader doll. Doll. I used to be a big Star Wars fan, and I emphasize I used to be a big Star Wars fan. Not anymore. Probably never be. Probably never will be as big as a fan as as 40k. I've I've become a 40k fan after uh, Star Wars basically backstabbed me, and I stopped being a Star Wars fan. Anyway, I just say that, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, no matter what happens, Darth Vader is, is one of my, one of my weak spots, because I love Vader. Vader is such a tragic hero. Love him. Anyway, I go there, take a good look. It turns out, my friends, that it's a woman. It is a Darth Vader Barbie doll crossover. And the doll is basically a woman with a stylized female Darth Vader costume. Uh, dark sunglasses, these, these uh, Audrey Hepburn style sunglasses, black hair, and it's kind of a mix of gothic slash 30s, 40s look. And I was like, what the fuck? And that's when I said, okay, Star Wars is officially and most thoroughly fucked. I have nothing, I have no desire to be associated in any way, shape or form with Star Wars anymore. It's fucked. That was the last straw. If they do this to Warhammer though, Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, I really, I seriously have no idea what I'm going to do if they start doing this shit. The Warhammer. But the, what, the, what the fan base? The fan base, uh, some part of the fan base, yeah. They are, they have awareness and they still have their like their common sense but 
as many people pointed out, there are whales who keep the machine going and no matter what happens, uh, punishment 90 welcome to the chat man uh finished my first car last night first time painting in like eight years well extremely well done sir i hope you had a fun time and you will put your car on the table there is going to be a gas lens game uh on sunday which i will be taking my uh michigan cheese build uh, this one, the Camaro with t teleporter. Oh my God! I will. I already would love to see the faces when they see what I'm going to do to them. <laughs> it's Death Race. Uh, you know the movie Death Race. We were playing that. Three or four gates, one lap. First one across the first finish line, or last car standing wins. So let's let's have a fit test. Okay, already looking good, looking good. Of course, weathering and everything will come. After that, probably going to put in the window. So I'm not gonna bother painting uh, the interior because I'm a lazy bastard. And this stream is going on for like two hours now. Okay, uh, what's what what is going what's going on? Ah, I see. Okay, a little bit of silver, just to stick out. It's a little gone. Queens of the Stone Age. Wonder what's up with them. Alrighty. So, what comes now? Can anyone guess? Yes, you're right. Null oil. So, hopefully, I will not spill it everywhere this time. So, now the magic begins. Oh, what oh, was saw that? Saw that? Almost. In my head, in my head, was beginning. I'm gonna close it every single time. All right, just going to waterboard the parts. I love the dirty look. What uh, no oil gives. There we go. See, it covers all the ridges, so it, it becomes articulated. It's very good. I love it. I love it when no oil just it flows into these parts. Awesome. Gives this dirty look. So I'm just gonna do it carefully to make sure that it goes into all of the ridges. So you don't need to be careful with this, just apply the wash a wash or an ink if you're working with Vallejo there are inks which are also awesome all right and the back part as well I need to let go of this very expensive paint so I need to be extra careful not to knock it over I'm just gonna hang myself on stream <laughs> All right. Okay. I think that covers this. Now comes the base. So 
we'll just generously put known oil everywhere. Um, Punishment 90, join my Discord and please uh, share your, your cars in the chat. Would love to see them, really. And also join the, join the Gaslast Facebook group if you're not already a part of that. Hit me up. Uh, <clears throat> my name is uh, Gergely Farkas and I just posted a very cheesy build which Mike, Mike Hutchison commented on. So I think you can find me and just uh, just message me the builds you did. Oh, it's my favorite song. Oh. Ghost and Lovecraft idea. Beverly themed. Go oh my God. I do not understand that team at all. It's, it's beyond my, my brain to understand how that sponsor works. I was basically Ghost Rider, but, uh, but anyway. By the way, I just started uh, listening to Lovecraft novels. Oh my god, that dude. That dude. Lovecraft is something else, man. Love him. Lovecraft, I, I understand it's your favorite. It's, it's my favorite as well. They say that Stephen King is the king of horror. But... Uh, but Lovecraft is the emperor of horror. <laughs> okay, now I cannot really touch the. Oh, okay, I got it. Let's put some weathering on the rims. So coming home tonight, home tonight. Give it up. The reason why I say it all is a reason all to make. I have no idea what they are saying, but I, I know the what's it called? The refrain. Oh, there's a reason. There's a reason, give it all. Alrighty, two thirds of the car is finished. Now we are waiting for Nolan oil to dry. On some of the places now comes the HUD. We are not going to do anything with the glass. Um, Nolan oil. Uh, Nolan oil. Nope. Um, silver highlight, silver dry brush. Okay, let's just. Um, do we need silver dry brush at all? We have the template for that. Oh, let's just get the skyline out of here. Um, do we? No, 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 not gonna do, not gonna do it. No, no. Uh, we have the template for that, uh, for the dry brush. So we're just gonna make sure that the lines, the contour lines are articulated. So, no oil, again. All right. By the way, we want to see some uh, GWIP infringement right now. Get a fucking load of this. It says screaming skulls. <laughs> oh my god. What, are they going to sue Hot Wheels? <laughs> uh, 
Screaming Skulls. It's written here. It's here. Screaming Skulls. GW lawyers are knocking on Hot Wheels do uh, door any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Okay. Looking good, looking good. I would love to build the Trans Am 20,000 uh, if I could find the right car for it from, from Redline. Sweet JP's car from the anime. Redline is, oh my God, I just cannot get enough of that movie. Redline is awesome. Music is good, the characters are good. Every every bit of that anime is, is pure gold. So you need to always spray paint your, your cars with at least a transparent varnish because otherwise the paint is not going to stick at all. Oh, uh, Officio Audiorum uh, is a good friend of the channel. So, so that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Redline is is awesome is awesome first 12 minutes just got me hooked the the yellow line race so yeah very very good very 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 good initial d no what's that i'm not aware of initial d is that porn <laughs> Asking for a friend. Now that I'm, oh shit. Okay. Now that I'm alone here, uh, I'm planning to watch The Boys. I heard it's pretty cool. Carl Urban is a beast. Carl Urban? Urban? How do you say his name? Rocket ride. Oh shit again. It's getting late. Okay, I believe that this is now done. So we have con contoured the car. Uh, fortunate, unfortunately, so this is still not really dry. So we can take a little bit of a break and have a quick look of, of the car itself. So engine block, kind of messy. But that's how it is. It's a machine, so should be. Uh, let's just put everything together. Okay, so it's not finished yet. I'm not gluing it, but this is this is how it's gonna look. I think it's pretty badass, right? 
already and we are still uh, not done with weathering because this needs to dry a little bit. All right, let me just uh, figure out something. How can we make this faster, to dry faster? I'm just gonna blow on it. Oh, I'll mute myself, okay? Open mic. What? You guys still hear me? Can you hear me? Testing, testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me now? I'm just pushing stuff. Can you guys hear me now? I'm just pushing stuff on my, uh... oh, okay. Good, all right, I'm just pushing stuff on my mic. Hope the stream will not drop. Oh God, please no. Okay, I think we're back. Uh, hair dryer. Yeah, probably you guys are right. Um, let's get that going. Oi! Whoops. Okay, I dropped off of the live stream. Let's get back to the live part of the live stream. All right. I got wireless headsets, so I was I was just walk into the bathroom and get the hair dryer. Uh, let's move the things out of place before something falls off the table and I'm gonna say something really nasty in Hungarian. Nobody will understand. Okay. Now, I just need to mute you guys somehow. Uh, how should I do that? Do I have something on the phone? Uh, mute microphone. Okay, let's try muting microphone, okay, for a couple of uh, seconds.
And we are back. You missed a very exciting blow drying session. Gotta love it. Technology, this spared me at least 20 minutes to half an hour of waiting. So yeah, it's a valid tactic. Okay, now, now comes the, the final part. We can wrap up the stream. Okay. So we are now nesting all parts and we are going to seal this car shut. All right, cockpit, glass, engine block, looking pretty good. Okay, let's, let's have a fit. Uh, okay. Fit test. Okay, uh, I already see that the point uh, where I'm going to glue this is going to be the pegs. So let's get our cheap uh, super glue out. And that's one. And that's two. And because this is a cheap glue, it's going to oxidate, uh, which I mean, what I'm trying to say is going to spread around and turn everything white because it's very cheap and not the gel based uh, glue that I'm, I'm used to, uh, to use on my, my miniatures. Uh, I. I don't know, maybe I will. Oh, okay. Well, that's Chinese super glue for you. Good. Okay. So, after two hours or at least roughly one and a half hours because I was spending half an hour talking, uh, about the game itself and not uh, doing stuff. Oh, sorry. Um, missed the spot. I mean, it's not, it's not significant. I can, I can retouch it. Okay, so now comes the magique, as the French would say. This is a very, very good uh, little, little piece here. I just need to clean this little tool. And now we are in the home stretch. Uh, please confirm if you can hear me uh, because I'm not getting any feedback from the chat. Just a, a, a one, type one if you can hear me, that's fine. One, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with rust, uh, which is not gonna be rust, it's gonna be red sand. So here we go. Oh, that's looking fucking awesome. Touch as well uh, on the here, just smudging around. No, no, no real consistency because we are racing in uh, the post-apocalyptic, apocalyptic desert wastelands of Earth after a nuclear war. So we're not we're not gonna be careful. 
Vedete? Let's have a little dust on the car. Robert Renato. Renato? Renato. Hi, welcome to the stream. I just sent you a link. Uh, oh, okay. It's not for me. Okay. Um, and because of the previously applied initial varnish on the car, the pigments from the um, technical paint stick exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. I think that's about it as well. Maybe just a little bit here on the end. Oh shit, I just I just realized something. I just saw that black spot. Uh black spot, silver spot on the wheel. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, dope. Uh, with that done. Ah, you're officio. You're officio all the orum, right? Okay, so we're now moving on to silver. Thank you very much for honoring the channel, friend. Uh, thank you for being here. Just gonna put a slight touch of silver onto the top. Uh, get off the, the rust here and apply some silver. And gonna put a little bit here on the edge. On the side ex exhaust ports, uh, here on the wing, a little bit, and of course, here at the back. Nice little edge highlight here, as you can see on the top of this. As well, and a nice little touch here. What else? What else is needed? Maybe here on the engine block, a slight little touch. Okay. Okay, from basically from zero to hero, uh, one and a half hours, this is the Fusion Busta, as you can see here on the bottom of the car. It's uh, 2020, it's a very, very recent uh, issue from Hot Wheels. Uh, did not manage to find it in Hungary. I had to go to Moscow to get this piece but uh, it's available uh, probably in the West and also from eBay. Uh, the car is basically done. I haven't painted much, just put uh, varnish on it. It's previously mentioned the transparent matte, no shiny, strictly matte varnish on all of the parts and painted up uh, a little bit the engine block part the uh, rims and some some parts uh, of the black uh, what should we call it well base base of the car the bottom of the car you don't need to paint the interior of the car you don't need to paint although uh, you can after gluing the car shut you can tell everybody that everything is painted inside the cockpit but nobody's gonna ever see it so they have to take your word for it um, I think this is this is pretty pretty good so far. Um, 
I don't know, maybe the wheels can use some weathering or or some dust or some mud. I don't know. Um, once I get my my bases, probably go or blood. <laughs> um, probably gonna paint uh, the bases as well. So far, this car is finished. It's a non-weaponized, so no extra weapon uh, options added onto the car, but this is going to be a performance car category vehicle, which is pretty fast, all about movement, uh, all about evasion. Let's just get in the way because the focus is going crazy. And, uh, and of course, Nitro, uh, inspired by Redline. And yeah. I'm going to take this uh, to on Sunday and have uh, a death race with this car for sure. So closing up, let me just give you guys a quick uh, adjusted view. Shit, tripod is falling apart. Well, tripod from Wish. So... That's what you get. Alrighty, and let me just have the lineup here of the stuff I'm going to take. So, this and this, basically. Let me just rearrange it a little bit better. So these are currently my favorite cars. Everything is, uh, and motorcycle of course, auxiliary motorcycle, five points, uh, good for triggering uh, slip away if they collide from the side or from the back in the performance car. The performance car activates uh, out of its activation, so it gets a free activation, uh, which means that they can use everything on their gear, which is not a weapon, uh, free first gate i'll explain the, the rules later and basically this car can teleport away then use a nitro boost and then use its turn uh, extra turn to get away put some distance between the uh chasing vehicles in the death race and when it's your turn again with your second vehicle it can have another turn so basically nobody's going to catch you uh, you're driving on the edge because there's going to be a lot of hazard tokens on it. And if uh, you reach six or uh, more hazards, there is a chance that you will wipe out and your engine is going to stall. And you need to be tricky. Uh, and basically you will lose uh, a turn because the higher the gear phase, the higher the gear you need to be in to actually activate. But if you, your engine stalls, you go back to gear one and uh, you cannot shift gears if you don't activate. Uh, unless it's, your, it's a performance car and somebody hits you uh, T-bone or tailgate because you can activate then again, even if you're not allowed to activate. So I'm in love with the performance cars. It's kind of a glass cannon. You have to be very careful. You know how to, how to drive. I played at least uh, two years of X-Wing. So I know how to uh, use maneuver templates. Uh, my eyeballing distances with templates is pretty good. So hoping for the best. And yeah, I will be doing some, some pictures on, uh, on Sunday. So that's about it. Here's, here's a armored uh, van as well. This is... This is also something I did uh, here on the stream. Um, this is a Rutherford uh, sponsored uh, armored truck. Uh, I play it as a pickup truck because that's how I can spend 50 points on one car. Uh, this is a classic American military style sponsor. It gets audience votes, which you can spend on special abilities if it shoots a lot of weapons at people. Uh, this is the Russian sponsor, uh, Mishkin. He's all about science and speed. No, science and military. And uh, 
he has, uh, this sponsor has exclusive gear like nuclear engine, uh, onboard teleporter, uh, satellite navigation, and so on. It's all about, uh, you know, being a geek. And uh, here we have Idris, the speed freaks. They have, uh, they can equip uh, nitro boost for half the price. So three points instead of six. And every time a Idris vehicle goes a long straight, they get an audience vote and uh, they can use long street in any gear. And as you can see, long straight is only permitted in fifth and sixth gear. So that, that's pretty badass. Uh, plus they don't get five hazard tokens for using the uh, nitro boost. They only get three. And of course, one of my favorites, the Miyazaki Japanese uh, team, which, uh, which their operation is similar to the Mirror's Edge runners. So they relay information using high-speed cars, and they are all about drifting, spinning, and doing all sorts of crazy maneuvers. Um, and they get audience votes if they do a spin, a slide, and a gear shift up and down. Uh, so they're all about movement. So they are with the Nissan Skyline uh, R30 from 1982. So these are some example cars of what sponsors there are. Of course, you can play games without sponsors, with just basic cars just maneuvering using maneuver templates, no sponsors, no, no fancy stuff. Everybody has a pistol. You can just slap a machine gun on it. Uh, nowadays, I am more into just maneuver teams because I want to get away from people and I don't, I just want to drive peacefully and not getting shot at or at least evading stuff. And in my next video, I'm going to show you some, some game mechanics. I'm going to set up a, uh, a board. Uh, with terrain and battle mats from gamemat.eu. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a video about that. Also my uh, open letter to GW video is also coming. And uh, and I'm gonna try to react to the Warhammer Plus stuff if I can get my hands on it. If not, well, fuck it, who cares? Uh, you know, I'm just doing it for the clicks. So anyway, this has been the uh, Wednesday workshop and you've just been uh, tutorialized on how to make a gas lance car uh, basically out of the box just gluing the wheels and you're ready to go all the way to nice extra bits weathering effect and such uh, this is the latest piece the fusion buster ready to hit the tables on Saturday so I hope you liked this episode we are two hours and 20 minutes in thank you very much uh, everybody for the super chats uh, means a lot all YouTube revenue now is going into me buying flight tickets to see my family in Russia because we need to uh, well this is part of our lives now uh, nothing is wrong between us. We just uh, uh, we decided that due to my son uh, getting bad, basically treatment here, uh, hospital wise, and we don't have anybody to help us here because I don't have rel living relatives anymore. Uh, we decided to transport them for a few months to Russia because they live there. Uh, my Russian part of the family lives in Moscow. Which means that daddy needs to come home and work while uh, mommy and junior are there with grandma and grandpa. And I miss them very much. So uh, if you can just join Patreon, uh, buymeacoffee.com or a direct donation to PayPal, that would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to buy flight tickets. Uh, nothing fancy. I'm just suspending my laptop project right now uh, because I, I want to see my family more than buying it stuff naturally so uh please consider if not drop a sub a like a share everything helps the channel uh engagement wise uh please comment please like the community post as well i'm planning to follow up on the warhammer memes project and also 
I'm not letting this die. I'm still boycotting Games Workshop. I'm still boycotting giving uh, any kind of money for uh, Warhammer Plus. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I am going to play Kill Team this uh, this Friday. And uh, just to, I have all the core rules, my my faction rules, which is going to be Talons of the Emperor, uh, already pirated, uh, printed out. I want to try the new game out, and of course, I'm taking a break from from Warhammer stuff and exploring very nice games such as Gaslands. So I'm going to make videos on that as well. Um, it's almost midnight. Thank you very much for sticking with me this long. Let me just cancel the music give you guys a proper send-off so thank you very much for my patrons uh nathan x2000 asmo gan shiva mr grizzly skimitar uh gashpar balint and i hope i didn't forget anybody else yep Yep, if so, my apologies, you will be the next one to uh, to be mentioned next time. Don't forget, if you uh, give a direct donation via Super Chat, uh, any built 40k models uh, will bear your given name, not your given name, but you can give me a name, and I will paint it uh, upon the back of the figurine once it is done. That's also a way to support the channel and get featured uh, on my minis, basically, forever. All right, that's about it. Thank you very much, uh, guys. I uh, wish you a pleasant night. And, uh, yeah, see you in Asmagan's uh, podcast, if anything, everything goes well tomorrow evening. Peace!